what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we're about to go over the updated roster investments that's going to help you secure thousands and thousands of stubs maybe even millions but if you're new to the channel drop a like on the video hit that red subscribe button down below and make sure your notifications is turned on for more stub tips and updates on mlb the show 21 hope you guys are having a blessed day stay safe and let's get into today's video if you're looking for great gaming services head on over to ahmlb and make sure you use code fat for five percent off your order looking at kyle tucker 84 overall i was telling you guys to invest in him under 2600 stubs so you already made about a 2000 1700 to 2000 profit on each and every investment if you have 40 or 50 or more of these cow tuckers i would cash out now you can hold him because he's been on fire recently he has a very very good chance at getting upgraded but that's going to fall into SDS's hands. So if you miss the upgrade, if you don't get the plus one, he missed it the past two times. If you don't get the upgrade, this 47, 48 will drop all the way down to about 32, 3300 stubs. Could go even lower. So you're going to miss the potential of your guaranteed stubs today and tomorrow and take that small chance of him getting upgraded like he deserves. Depending on when they come with a stub sale, that usually decides on how many players they're gonna upgrade. I think this is gonna be a small upgrade. I think from gold to diamond, it might be three to five players max, okay? So we have Cal Tucker, who's probably leading the way for upgrade. Him and Robbie Ray are in the same predicament. So right now, CJ Krein, you can go in, get him for 3,563, and you can turn around and resell him Friday morning, okay? So Friday morning, 3671 right now, you can buy him for 3,563. I would expect for him to go up another 300 to 400 stubs. That will put him at about a 4,000 or 4,200 range. You can cash out, make 400 to 600 stubs on every single investment instead of holding him for the long haul. Ozzy Albus, like I told you guys, is trended upwards again. He might get up to about 36. 3,700 stubs. That would be about a 1,000 profit if you get him for 2,452. He's starting to trend up. So if you buy him for 2,452 right now and secure the bag over the next two days by Friday morning, if you can see him going up to about 34, 3,600, you can cash out, walk away with your 800 to 1,000 stub. That's going to be a super fast flip on each one of these some of the lower overall cards like the austin hayes the nikki lopez's didn't really have too much of a change so you can still see that they are around 600 you can buy them at 380 i think the last video they were around 265 270 so you still had a chance in between to make 250 to 300 stubs per and then he still has a chance to get that plus one all he needs is a plus one to get upgraded and you can get him right now for 380 if he does get upgraded that's going to be about a 600 to 700 stub profit still if he goes up to gold which in turn will turn into a one thousand quick sell now certain players that are trending right now in the mlb 78 overall gorio jr okay last time we were going over 77 78 and 79 overall cards this card is already around the 1000 quick sell you still have a chance to make 250 stubs per investment over the past 7 to 15 games he's in the top five as far as betting he has five home runs 26 rbis and 20 hits so i give him about an 80 to 90 percent chance on getting that upgrade so it's a pretty safe investment and opportunity for you to take advantage of
Another big time person that's trending right now is this Tyler O'Neill. Pretty expensive car, 84 overall. He's in about a 60 to 70% chance of getting an upgrade. He's in the top 10 betters over the past 7 to 15 games. Over the past 7 to 15 games, he does have 5 home runs, 9 RBIs, and 17 hits. He also comes in with 3 doubles. He's been showing some consistency. He's an outfielder, so all he's going to need is a boost to his power, and that will give him that plus one. We never know who they might choose. I'm expecting for only three to four upgrades from gold to diamond, and probably a lot more from silver to gold and etc. But this is another card to keep on your watch list. If he doesn't get upgraded right now, you want to make sure that you go out and grab all these cards that's 84 overalls and are over 3,500 stubs. You want to make sure that anyone that don't get upgraded, you want to grab them as soon as they drop down to about 23, 2,400 stubs. Hold them for the long haul. We only got about one, maybe two more roster updates before the postseason comes around. So you want to take advantage of these. If y'all enjoyed the video, get your investment investments in drop a like on the video if y'all rocking with me you know i got y'all it's gonna be a lot more mob content coming so you want to make sure that you are subscribed with your notifications on let's get it shout out to the mvps and the mvp elite